Do you want to feel happier in your daily life? Everyone wants to feel happier, right? You don't necessarily have to be unhappy to want to be more happy. Today's video is all about how Indigenous teachings can transform your life and help you to feel happier. Hi there, I'm Mallory. Welcome back to the Tribal Trade channel where we share new videos every single week about Indigenous culture, Native teachings, and so much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a video. Happiness is what it's all about, am I right? We all want it. That's the purpose of life, if I'm not mistaken. But how do you get there now? I'm not necessarily saying you're miserable or depressed, but maybe you just want to squeeze out a bit more joy each day. How do you get there? Have you ever wanted to utilize Indigenous teachings to help enrich your life and feel happier? If not, then prepare to be amazed. Okay friends, keep watching to find out six ways Indigenous teachings can dramatically improve your life and help you feel so much happier overall. At Tribal Trade Co, we've helped tens of thousands of people to celebrate Indigenous culture, to connect with Indigenous teachings, so that they can feel happier in their lives, more resilient and just better overall. There are so many ways that Indigenous teachings are applicable to your daily life. And we love to share those teachings with others who want to feel happier, healthier, and lead more connected lives. You can use these teachings whether you're Indigenous or not. And the good news is these teachings are so helpful to everyone. One of the guiding foundations of Indigenous culture are the seven grandfather teachings. The seven grandfather teachings are wisdom, love, respect, bravery, honesty, humility, and truth. We can use these teachings to think about our place in the world and what we find important. When we focus on these teachings, it often helps us to find happiness in each area of our lives. With the seven grandfather teachings in mind, there are a variety of ways this and other indigenous teachings can help you to feel happier. Now keep watching my friends to find out six ways that you can become more resilient when dealing with stress, hardships, and trauma by utilizing indigenous teachings and ultimately living a happier life. Okay, so let's get into it. The first way to become more resilient and to feel happier is to connect with your community. Even if it's online, having a community is very, very important. Community is where we find love. Love is one of the seven grandfather teachings. So highlighting how important it is for everyone to feel loved and supported in your daily lives. It's very natural to want a community and feeling in touch with that community can not only improve your mood, but help you feel more resilient in the face of hardship. Knowing that you have people to support you can help you become more resilient and happier every single day. You can reach out to a friend or family member or even join an online community. If you're looking for a community to join, check out the Tribal Teachings Facebook group by Tribal Trade Co. This is a safe space to connect with other people looking to learn more about Indigenous teachings and to connect with Indigenous people. Now on to number two. The second way to become more resilient and happier is to remember that suffering doesn't discriminate. Everyone has problems and things that they deal with, so you are not alone if you're experiencing any suffering or hardships. Try practicing humility by changing your perspective from why me to why not me. This helps you stay humble and express gratitude for all that you have and the good times that you have experienced. And expressing gratitude is one of the key components of being happier. Anytime you're focused really hard on what you're grateful for, it's impossible to feel unhappy. Just try it. While facing hardship is never easy, it's proven to make you stronger and you can feel comforted knowing that bad things happen to everyone. But the key is to knowing how to handle those bad things. And many times, challenges are what connect us to others in an even deeper way. So you might find that struggle or hardship brings you even closer to your community. Now on to number three. The third way to become more resilient and to feel happier using indigenous teachings 
is to identify what serves you and where to invest your energy. Try asking yourself, where is my energy going? And how is this decision serving me? Too often, we invest energy in things that do not serve us well. And where our focus goes, energy flows. Who says that? I think it's Tony Robbins. <laughs> so if you're focusing on or investing energy in negative things or things that bring you unhappiness, that is the energy that you are going to receive back. Are your thoughts making you feel better or worse? And are your actions leading to something better? Like what would your life look like if you continued on as you are right now without ever making a change? What would your life look like in five years? Is the outcome good or is it bad? That can tell you whether you need to make a change or not. Take some time to determine how the energy you're putting into your thoughts and actions are determining how your life is unfolding. What changes can you make to guide your life towards something better? When we're honest with ourselves by taking responsibility for our thoughts and our own actions, the path to happiness becomes so much clearer. When we do this, it makes us much stronger and more resilient as people. If you could change one thing in your life right now, what would it be? Please let me know in the comments below. Now on to number four, the fourth way to become more resilient and feel happier using indigenous teachings is to know the difference between what you can control and what you can't. Knowing and acknowledging the difference between what you can and can't control, that is the ultimate form of wisdom. Carefully evaluate what you cannot control and do your best to let go of your desire to control it. You can use mantras for yourself to remind your subconscious self to let go of or release the things that you can't control. This is as simple as silently reminding yourself, I can't control that, or I'm not going to spend my energy trying to control what I can't. I think it's Elise Myers that says, I do not accept that, right? I am not going to spend my energy on that thing. By letting go of what you can't control, you'll actually gain control over more areas of your life, making you happier and more resilient when faced with the things that you can't control. All right, so now on to number five, the fifth way to become more resilient and to feel happier using indigenous teachings is to use intentional gratitude practices, for example, smudging. Smudging with sage is an amazing way to help you connect with your spiritual being. Not only that, but the medicinal properties can calm your stressful emotions. It can be extremely helpful to focus on gratitude while you're smudging. And to be honest, that's the entire point of it. This will help you focus on positive energy and help you feel physically stronger. Participating in mindfulness practices like smudging is showing respect for yourself. It means that you're acknowledging that you need time to be with yourself, as well as connect with your spiritual being and restore your own energy. These are all acts of gratitude, positivity, and love. And when you put that energy out into the universe, you will receive it back in abundance. So being mindful and grateful is one of the best ways to feel happier, stronger, and more fulfilled. If you need help getting started, with smudging as a gratitude practice, then check out our free smudging guide at the link in the description below. We've also got other resources for connecting with indigenous culture and how to be happier in the description as well. Now the sixth and final way for this video to become more resilient and to feel happier using indigenous teachings is to sign up for Resiliency Week. Finally, if you want help feeling more resilient and happy, you can sign up for Resiliency Week. Resiliency Week is a seven day free online event for achieving higher levels of resiliency using indigenous teachings, just like we've discussed in this video. In Resiliency Week, you'll receive proven techniques to attract abundance and positivity, 
as well as build stronger resiliency using indigenous teachings and focusing on personal wellness. You'll get things like resiliency tools, worksheets, journal prompts. You'll be able to connect with supportive people who are on the same journey. And there will be special prizes and giveaways along the way. Taking the first step to change your life and become happier and more resilient is an act of bravery and a big one. It takes courage to identify areas for improvement in yourself. So whether you're ready for a complete overhaul of your life or just want to learn ways to make your day-to-day -day experience happier and healthier, or if you're ready to engage more fully with your truth, Resiliency Week is a great place to start. If you're interested in learning more about Resiliency Week or you want to sign up, check out the link in the description below. Indigenous teachings can be used to improve your life no matter where you are at in your journey, whether you're Indigenous or you're not Indigenous. Indigenous teachings can play an important role in becoming happier and more resilient when you're faced with challenges. So there you have it. Now you know six ways to use Indigenous teachings to help improve your well-being, but there is also so many more. Use this video as a jumping off point to start your journey to being happier. If you like this video, be sure to share it with your friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a video about Indigenous culture, resiliency, positivity, smudging, and all of the above. Which of these strategies for being stronger and resilient are you going to use in your life starting today? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible day and we will see you next time.